The age and evolution of the spit has been a subject of considerable research and the investigations that have been carried out in this area suggest that it began to grow around about six and a half thousand years ago and it began to grow around about one kilometer offshore and it began to grow northwards and as it grew it also migrated landwards. In Islaspit is a very important coastal landform because it provides natural flood defence for the village of Borth and for the associated businesses, houses, golf course, as well as the infrastructure such as road and rail. Over the last few thousand years sea levels have begun to rise and the amount of shingle being supplied to the spit has begun to reduce and as part of the coastal defence works being carried out on the spit currently material from elsewhere is being brought in to supplement the flow of shingle along the spit. We've come now to the north end of the dune spit. Um, we're looking at the mouth of the Dovey estuary and uh, dunes forming around this northern end of the shingle spit. Where I'm standing here was um, right in the mouth of the estuary not so many uh, years ago. It's a very dynamic environment. The whole of the dune you can see behind me here uh, was not here in 2000. It's, it's formed over the last 10 years and sand is accumulating very rapidly. And we've got new dunes on the beach. Uh, we've growing, uh, they're growing into larger mobile dunes and beyond them the older dunes that fo formed a generation or more ago. We heard a few minutes ago from my colleague Bob about the importance of the shingle spit as a protection for the, uh, the coastal area behind it. Well, this applies to the dunes as much as, uh, as to the shingle. The dunes are a form of natural barrier, um, closing off the mouth of the estuary, sheltering the estuary uh, behind. So all the salt marshes be that we see here, um, the land behind, including Korsvokno, this wonderful raised bog that we have on the floodplain of the Dovey, one of the most important raised bogs in Britain. Uh, it's all protected by this uh, dune and shingle ridge. These actively growing marim dunes are really important for wildlife uh, and they're actually a rare feature now. Uh, most of our dune systems in Britain are eroding. Here we've got dunes actively building and they are home to a lot of really important wildlife. Tiny creatures such as the uh, dune bird's nest fungus and uh, a particularly rare spider that's not been found anywhere else in Britain live here. The dunes are not only important for this uh, great diversity and uh, important wildlife, but they're a great natural playground. Uh, over 250,000 people come to this site uh, most years to, uh, to enjoy the beach and the dunes and the colourful flowers and butterflies. It's just a wonderful place for people to enjoy. Inneslas is a, a fantastic place for people with, uh, with children to visit. There's lots to do here and there's a, a visitor centre with lots of information and games and you'll get some help from uh, uh, staff there so if you're in the area come and visit us uh, in the last dunes it's, uh, it's a wonderful place just up the road from Borth. And it's free of charge? No, they've got to pay for parking. <laughs>